I'm Kelly D and today I'm going to share with you an old English dish. Now even though this dish originated in the UK, it is known all over the world, especially here in the Caribbean. We absolutely love this dish. Today we're going to be making shepherd's pie. Traditionally, shepherd's pie was called cottage pie and it's usually made with minced beef or minced lamb. That's the name shepherd's pie. But today I'm going to share with you how I make a vegetarian version of shepherd's pie. So now let's go over the ingredients. We have about eight large English potatoes which are already cooked, which I cut in half. We have three tablespoons of softened butter. We have half cup of milk. I'm using almond milk, but you can use any kind of milk you want or half and half. This is to make our creamed potatoes, which is an essential component. Then we have half of a pack of soy mints, are about 125 grams. Half of a sweet pepper chopped, the green one. One small onion chopped. Three tablespoons of Bajan seasoning, this is essential. And some additional spices, we have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of curry, one teaspoon of white pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. We have two cloves of garlic chopped. We have about a half cup of ragu sauce. If you don't have ragu sauce, you can use any other kind of tomato sauce. We have about a half cup of ragu sauce. If you don't have ragu sauce, you can use any other kind of tomato sauce. Oil for sautéing, one tablespoon of sugar, and a bunch of thyme leaves. And some cheese for our topping. Our first step is to hydrate our soy. You will see they're dry, they're hard, and believe me, they are bland. So we're gonna add our seasonings, all of it. We're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna add our Beijing seasoning, like half of it. And then we're gonna hydrate it by soaking it in some hot water. Now you're gonna top it up completely because once the granules start to become swollen, it will absorb all of the water. And as it absorbs the water, it absorbs the flavor. Remember, they're really bland at first, so you really have to season them to get a nice flavor. And we'll allow them to soak for about half of an hour. Then we're gonna make our filling. Now we're gonna prepare our potatoes. Now I'm gonna link in the description of box above another video I made, which is creamy mashed potatoes. That's really easy. So to make our mashed potatoes now, which will be the top part of our shepherd's pie, we're gonna add our milk, makes it nice and creamy. And every step, we're gonna just keep mashing. Now you're gonna use all your elbow grease now to get everything nice and smooth. We're gonna add our butter. And the water that you would have used when you boiled the potatoes, if you still have that, well, you should still have that. We may need to get some of that as well when we're mixing, if you don't like how smooth it is. Now it's time to prepare our filling. So I'm gonna turn the stove on and make sure it's, the pan is nice and hot. Then we're gonna add our oil, our onions. Ooh, you hear that sizzle? We're going to add our sweet pepper. We're going to add our garlic. And I'm also going to add some thyme. Now, if you have some fresh thyme, you can get it. This is really going to improve the flavor. And remember, our soy chunks usually really bland. So we need to really up the seasonings to get a really good taste. Oh, this smells so good. Now we're going to add our soya. Now if you will notice here, they have doubled in size. They so much, it looks like so much more than when we added the water because once you add the water, everything just swells and it, and it really yields to more. 
We don't want the water in, so we're going to remove as much of them before putting in the water at this time. And then we're going to really start to cook them down. It has been about five minutes, so we're going to go and I'm going to adjust the seasoning. Remember, season, season, season when it comes to these soy chunks. We're going to add the additional Bajan seasoning, which I will link in the iCards above. And now we're going to add the soy sauce. We're going to add the ragu sauce. Ragu always makes sauces and stews and soups taste so much better. And we allow it to cook some more. Go ahead and add the remainder. Get it all in there. And once it's done, once it's finished, we're going to layer our shepherd's pie. Our filling is now ready. Now I would have adjusted it off camera because I needed to get a particular taste and I wasn't getting it so I added all of my seasonings all over again I added more salt definitely a lot more pepper paprika curry I even added one teaspoon of sugar to just give me the taste that I was looking for and now it's perfect so I encourage you if you're tasting it at this stage and it's not quite the way you want it remember it starts off really bland you really need to season it be really generous with your seasoning. So added all the seasons all over again. Added some extra sugar. That was a little secret ingredient, just a teaspoon of sugar, and now it's perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees as we layer our shepherd's pie. Our shepherd's pie is now ready for the oven, so we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes, and then it'll be done. Our shepherd's pie, our cottage pie, is done. It looks so good. The cheese would have all melted to the top. Now it's time to taste. Well, I'm gonna cut into it ever so gently and then get a bite. Now it's time to taste. It's still a little hot. Mmm. Delicious. So good. Nice and soft, the cream potatoes at the top with the cheese, really good. Shepherd's pie, now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this shepherd's pie video, I want you to look over here, see some of my other recipes, and once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.